Hello, bishops, Relief Society presidencies, Elders Quorum presidencies, Young Men's presidencies, and Young Women's presidencies. My name is Neil Jepson, and I am the director of the Institute, now known as the Center for Young Adults. Here at the UTSA building, we serve the entire city, all seven stakes that are here in the city of San Antonio. And we've recently made some changes that are really, really, really meaningful and useful to young adults. We've become more flexible, provided them with more relevant things, and really tried to strengthen their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We would like to show you about some of these changes. Take a look. Introducing the Center for Young Adults. Starting on January 15th and every Wednesday night thereafter, here is what you can expect. When you walk into the Culture Hall, all options for that evening and for the coming weeks will be on display for you you will get to choose what is best for you. You could go to Living Proof, where Latter-day Saint experts and professionals from all over San Antonio will come to provide their gospel-centered insights. YA Weekly will tackle difficult but relevant topics that young adults are facing today. Relationships in the Gospel of Jesus Christ will aid young people to create and maintain eternal relationships with themselves, others, and God. Mission Prep 2.0 will help young people be prepared to serve full-time missions, but also aid them to understand the rigors of missionary service. The center will always provide activities and food after every Wednesday evening. All activities will be optional, and young adults can participate, observe, or eat and run. If you want to hear Chris Payne on January 15th talk about financial intelligence and investing in yourself, but then on January 22nd, you need a conversation on missionary life resilience, then do that. On the 29th, you may decide to learn more about emotional and physical intimacy. On February 5th, you return to the conversation and mission prep about how the Spirit leads and guides you. You might even have your interest peaked on February 11th by the topic, The Savior's Atonement and Mental Illness, and decide to go there. Choice and flexibility will be encouraged. You can attend the same course every week or jump from topic to topic every week. That's what the Center for Young Adults is all about flexibility, relevance, and strengthening your trust in Jesus Christ. We will be here every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, starting on January 15th, 2020. If you come seeking, we promise you will leave empowered. That explanation was created in January when we began, and we've really created some momentum. Lots of young adults are coming out, and we have a critical mass that is beginning to grow. We've noticed that family wards aren't as aware about what's happening here as the young single adult units. That includes those high school seniors who are about to graduate from high school and become young adults. We've invited them and asked them to participate, and 15 or 20 have taken us up on that invitation and have begun to attend. Come summer, we want all of them to be aware that this is available to them. Young women's presidencies and young men's presidencies, we hope that you will make this available to them and invite them to participate. And if they'd like to, they can start to attend now. We would love for you to reach out to the young adults individually in your unit and invite them to participate with us. We've just recently received the new handbook. In chapter 14, there is some really helpful direction. It says that stake and ward leaders work continually to identify, locate, and shepherd young single adults in the following ways. First, they help young single adults find and fellowship those in their age group who are not as active in the church. They also create opportunities for young adults to associate together in meaningful service, gospel learning, and social activities. Also here, they support young adults in fulfilling worthy personal goals and in making decisions about marriage, education, career, and finances. I love that these three are exactly what the center are all about. We gather young adults to help them make decisions about education, career, and finance. We create a place where they can meet people, hopefully preparing for marriage. And we help find people who are not as active in the church and bring them in. This is what the center is all about. Additionally, there are some important things for the bishopric under 14.3.3.1. It says to understand and address the needs of young single adults in the ward, a bishopric member interviews each young adult, single adult, at least annually. Later on, it says a counselor in the bishopric oversees the young single adults in the ward. He receives regular reports from the counselors in the Elders Quorum and the Relief Society presidencies who are assigned to work with the young single adults in the ward. We hope that as you interact with the young single adults in your ward, that you will invite them to participate in the Center for Young Adults. We are confident that the three areas of emphasis that the handbook laid out can in part happen here, and we're happy to be your partner. Here's our latest promo highlighting Living Proof, one of the courses that we offer here. It's extraordinary. 
Take a look. Have you heard of BYU Education Week? People travel to learn from a group of extraordinary speakers and teachers. Names like Brad Wilcox, John By the Way, Sherry Dew. It happens annually on the campus of BYU, and it's about 1,200 miles from San Antonio. Don't you wish you could have something like that here for young adults? Presenting Living Proof. Every Wednesday, the new Center for Young Adults provides a weekly moment for you to be with the best and the brightest Latter-day Saints in the area. People like Mary Mikado, two-time Emmy award-winning producer, Judge Burt Richardson, a judge on the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, Susan Cunningham, Alamo College's communication and relationship expert, Daniel Hull, president of construction at the NRP Group, Lisa Parsons, former news anchor, now a small zoo owner, Don Larson, COO of Malto Mill, and so many more. These people will bring their best and give it to you in living proof. What is the fee? There isn't one. 1,200 miles? No. Just come to the Center for Young Adults every Wednesday for one of these amazing conversations. Is this all that the Center provides? Not even close. If one of these conversations don't pique your interest, we have many other relevant options. Can you imagine? Education Week every week, right here in San Antonio for young adults. Come check us out. We've included the links to both of the promos that we've shown here in, in addition to several others that would be helpful to your young adults in the email. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to us. We're happy to chat. Thank you so much for serving the young adults. We're happy to be partners with you.